the rift between the two camps of the Islamic United Development Party, PPP, has escalated. Chairman Emron Pankapi's camp recently reported disgraced Chairman Surya Dharma Ali to the police on grounds that he is occupying the party's Central Executive Board's office illegally. Emron's camp said the Central Executive Board's office belonged to the people and its occupation is a violation of the law. Secretary of the Emron's camp, General Rohma Hurmuzi, said the occupation of the office has disrupted the party's activities, forcing him to report Surya Dhamma Ali to the police for tampering. The internal rift took hold after disgrace. Chairman Surya Dharma Ali was fired following a meeting held by leaders of the party. Leaders appointed Emron Pankapi as acting chairman. Surya Dharma retaliated by firing the leaders of the party from Emron's camp. Surya Dharma Ali dan kawan-kawan atas jumlah dugaan tindak pidana umum yang semuanya nanti secara detail akan dijelaskan oleh pengacara kami. Selanjutnya kita melaporkan Pak Surya Dharma Ali dan kawan-kawan. Dengan laporan polisi pasal 406, kemudian pasal 170 KUHP, karena kami menganggap bahwa tindakan-tindakan yang beliau lakukan dan kawan-kawan itu termasuk dalam tindak pidana. Attorneys representing Pitikal Timparna Industry President Director Arta Mary Simbolon fired back at the nation's anti-graph agency on Thursday, calling the prosecution's indictment vague and rife with inaccuracies. Arthur Meris stands accused of handing over 522,000 US dollars in bribes to Ruby Rubiandini, the corrupt head of oil and gas regulator SKK Migas. Arthur Meris allegedly paid out the bribes to convince Rudy to issue a recommendation asking the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Resources to lower the price of gasoline. The businesswoman's company had previously petitioned the central government to sell them gas at a reduced rate. When the company's request was denied, Arthur Meris reportedly attempted to purchase influence with an SKK Me Gas. She allegedly handed a half million US dollars over to Rudy's golf trainer and bagman Deviardi, but her lawyers deny the Corruption Radication Commission, KPK, proved these allegations. Attorney Otto Hasibuan called the indictment unclear on multiple fronts. He asked the panel of judges of the Jakarta Anti-Corruption Court to dismiss all charges and restore his client's dignity.